<laughs> you know, what, what else? You know, I was talking to this uh, this friend. She has a she has a, a, a hotel in Mort in Monteverde near like where Robert lives, oh. and, and she, uh, she you know she moved, She's from Germany and she moves to there just because she wants to be in the forest. And I was telling her like, what else, man? No, what else? Yeah, what yeah. else we need? You know, like we we. It's kind of kind of addictive, to be honest. You know, I'm 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 a little scared to get like very away from nature now. Like I really need it. I get a little like you know I I, I need to go. You know, I, today I I get off my job like at four. And I was like, okay, I want to go, I want to go to walk a little bit, but I need to work on that track. You know, I had so, I had said oh, to yeah. stay, but you know, you have this impulse because, you know, you have everything there. Like you feel like, well, in my personal, I feel like I don't need anything else. Like all desires, like, yeah. like as, as there, some said, <laughs> Yeah. It's not. It's not that I don't have desires, you know. Of course, I have a lot of them. <laughs> But, you know, yeah. like when when it, you it, get there, <laughs> it goes. It goes back to like what we were saying. And there's this funny like uh, interview that I read one time about uh, Allen Ginsberg, and he's getting interviewed by this guy, and it's like in the the early 70s. So Allen Ginsberg's kind of like popular, right? And he kind of asks. His, Alan Ginsberg like all these questions like he's a, a guru and stuff like that and then Alan kind of like laughs and he says something like like you know if I was truly enlightened I would be writing all this poetry <laughs> he's like I struggle with it that's why I write so much but if I if I had the perfect Buddha mind like I wouldn't need to say anything I wouldn't need to do anything yeah yeah, yeah no that, that's right exactly you know it's like my You know, I, I I was hanging out in this at this library like about like for 15 years, something like that, like not 10 years, not 12 years, something like that. You know, every day. You know, I I, I was going there every day because you know, tons of books and tons of interesting people from ev everywhere and and different disciplines and and all of that. So I made some good friends and sometimes like old friends you know like my friend louis he's from from california actually from nevada city and he you know he he went to uh maria sabina like in the 70s to, oh yeah to, yeah, yeah. To get, to, yeah 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 to get the mushrooms and all yeah. that yeah yeah so you know the, he's 79 he's he's a a, a surgeon veterinarian So, you know, he, he, he goes into the seeker path, like, for many, many times. And then he, it, that's why he says to me all the time, you know, don't do anything. <laughs> it's so that he said, when I have this and that, this plan, I want to do this. And, you know, he's like, don't do anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, and I get it, you know, I get it. You know what I mean? It's, it's not like... It's different, you know, when, when, oh, I want to do this, like, from, from, uh, like, as Gurdjieff says, like, that I, what I is that I, you know, like, who wants to do? But I, uh, I, I, I do think, uh, and this is, kind of gets touched in that Mandala book, and, and, and later on in the, the Mayan book that he, uh, that Jose writes. Anyways, um, that there is this, like, collective coordinated uh, mind that, like, we have to, like, learn <laughs> to, like, heal, like, the earth. Like, there's, like, no way for us, like, if we don't, like, learn how to, like, work and think collectively. Like, at a, like, at a, like, a fundamental background level. And then, like, on top of that, like, you know what I mean? Like, our yeah. whole orientation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, definitely. Uh, and it's, no, like, it's the yeah. building it's the building of everything. Yeah. It's the building, it's the building of, of every system. 
You know, it's, it's like it's like you 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 get here and you watch around, and what you see is fractals everywhere. You know, you yeah. just you just have to copy. You you have the you have all the answers for the test. You know, you don't have to. You don't have to be so creative, actually. You know, it's like okay, it's very easy. Like let's replicate this. Yeah. You know, in everything we we do. But actually, the 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 idea that we are not doing it, it's very amazing, amazingly incredible. Also, you know, like to get out of the, of that, it's a great thing, actually. I I believe so. You know all the all the madness. You know all the the craziness the, and and it's all is about all the pain. You know all how how that mind it's getting. Uh, you know like it's it's getting feet out of those experience. Yeah. Right, like the the psychic apparatus of the earth. Let's call it that way, because we we've been talking about this a lot of times. Like we we don't have control; we're just little little things created by the earth. So the earth is in charge. The the things that we we think that we are the protagonist, like the main characters of the story, but this is the story of the earth, and we are part of it. You know, that's kind of like the magic words for me to hear right now, because to bring it back to the mindfulness a little bit, I've been revisiting that some myself, and it's, I, I guess for me, it's like a, a new way to rationalize it, just um, bringing attention back to my breathing and whatever situation, and my rationale is that the first thing I need to I need to set some standards for the mental associations I make so I don't just connect everything all the time get overwhelmed because there's just way too much I need to be able to establish the silence in which I can listen and the the logical place to start with that would be my own body if i'm disconnected from the rhythms going on inside me i i can't hope to be able to uh monitor some abstract space outside me yeah but it's complicated because whenever i get into mindfulness like it'll I'll become less social, yeah. <laughs> which causes its own problems. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to branch out more with my community of coworkers and some of the people there are like, they, they live with this gossip energy and it's always yeah. kind of been a challenging thing for me. But I see now it, it's got this unique value. It's, it's a oh, form yeah. of social intelligence where people can dance inside the center of the cyclone I, i've even been thinking about like planning ahead <laughs> training myself to like what are my weaknesses going to be in conversation like how can i leverage my empathy to to be more um yeah yeah this person and it it's seems like a, a polarity but the moment you said that we're like small things belonging to the earth and created by the earth I, I just kind of felt it like oh yeah that's that's the um the the signpost to the center where i don't have to get caught in those polarities in this case yeah and also you know it has to do with with the attachment get on on attach on attach it but when you get, you know, get you like a step out, you step out. But in that moment, you also get a maze. Like you step out of everything, like you detach yourself from everything. But in that moment, you get a maze also. And the moment you 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 get that that point of observation, 
when you detach yourself from everything and you yeah like like you can you when it's like this moment when you can say this is nice or bad or you don't know anything you just observing you know like uh, uh, that's that's the the moment when you can really contemplate without judgment and that moment it's but, but in order to do that you need to detach also from yourself is what what satori was saying you know you need to you, you need to get out of everything uh, all your personality your mind uh, you know everything that you think you are and you get out and but in that specific moment also you get amazed by everything because everything is yeah. so fucking you amazing know, you know that's <laughs> like i have this like uh annoyance with this like term of like higher consciousness but like you know as i go along uh, my life and and how to describe certain things and thinking about it for my own self it's like a deeper connection to consciousness it's going um you know subhuman <laughs> I, I, like i remember one time i was talking and then i was like oh my god that's what the the subhuman kind of like represents like going more into like i like when when i did that that video uh, the rhythm of life like the one of the biggest lesson was to be within my body and and my own rhythm and that's why i constantly talk about like the heartbeat of the universe or like my heartbeat and i i used to talk about this all the time even before i started like really learning the, the mayan stuff and like they were talk they they the two main energies that they talk about is and they reference it like if you take it literally it's the the heart of the sky and the heart of the, the earth <laughs> and they're, they're, all, they're all referencing like some kind of center that pulsates you know <laughs> yeah yeah the, the connector the connector in between 